I'm Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the Chicago Board of Trade with another episode of Tech Talk. It's Tuesday, November 16th. We've got three markets for you today. Corn, soybeans are going to wrap things up with lean hogs. But before we get into the charts, I want to bring to your attention, if you didn't know this already, we do post a lot of our daily commentary on our site, bluelinefutures.com. There's a research tab here. You just click on free and you can see what we're putting out. And it's not just agricultural markets. My partners cover a wide variety of uh, sectors, including energies, precious metals, indices, currencies, softs, etc. So it's all covered here. You can see what we're posting. If you want to get this emailed directly to you, as soon as it comes out, you click on this free two-week uh, complimentary trial. Select the markets that you want here. You'll get that to your inbox each and every day. As far as the video commentary, we do post it on our site as well. But if you want to get it a little bit faster, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, turn on the notifications here, and you'll get the, the videos as soon as they're posted on YouTube, as you can see here. Uh, we also put uh, together a lot here as far as daily video commentary goes. So be sure to uh, hit it up, uh, subscribe, and you'll get those emailed directly to you. Now, we'll get into the charts. We've got... Uh, December corn here we go pulled up first we've had a nice relief rally after last week's USDA report but I want to backtrack even just a little bit further this breakout move from October 27th was really the move that I guess put the bulls in a little bit better control of the technical landscape prior to that it was a choppy range bound trade but this marked higher highs and this marked higher lows from last week's USDA report. We backfilled that original breakout point and held. That is very constructive. Now, with that said, we've had a nice run here from about 550 to 580 in a very short amount of time. So we wouldn't be surprised to see the market catch its breath a little bit here in the very near term. There's a little bit of support near 565. I think the bulls still have a little bit of an advantage, but a break and close below here could potentially take us back towards this original breakout point. You also have the 100-day moving average, and that all comes in between 543 and 548. And this is also the 50% retracement, as you can see here, uh, from the what was that? The, the March lows to the, the May high. So a lot of technical support down here in the 550 area, give or take uh, a nickel. So what does that mean for you going forward? Well, I guess it depends if you're hedging, if you're speculating, what your time frame is on these trades. For us, we like selling against this technical resistance here, 580 to 586. A break and close above there obviously neutralizes that bias as we could see technical selling take over and shorts get squeezed a little bit. But we do like selling against that pocket, thinking that we retest 565. Uh, from that point, it's going to be a, a bit of an inflection point, a break and close below again probably takes us back down here. So those are your risk and reward setups against technical support and resistance for December corn. Now moving over to the soybean market. Soybeans have had an incredible rally here from last week. Uh, we talked about this ahead of the USDA report saying that a lot of the bearish news had likely been baked into the cake and the USDA wasn't going to be able to throw much more new news at the market to make it sell off. So we talked about a neutral report being friendly. Well, it wasn't just a neutral report. It was a friendly report. And so we saw a springboard type reaction here over the last week. But now we're back up against technical resistance. This 1260 area has been a big pocket and it just isn't this week. You, you can clearly see here the top end of the range from the beginning of the month and the end of October. And it also very significant going back to June and all the way to March. So this is the pocket to keep a very close eye on. As with corn, we like selling against these resistance pockets. A break and close above neutralizes our bias as we could see an extension towards a 100-day moving average in that psychologically significant $13 handle. But we've rallied about 80 cents over the course of five sessions. I wouldn't be surprised to see the markets catch a breath and retreat maybe 20, 25 cents here in the near term. You also have some trend line resistance from the contract highs. So this is a big inflection point for the market. We like selling against it on the first test, but again, know what your tap out point is. A tap out point is a break and close below, uh, above. Uh, you take your medicine and move on, or at least that's the way we're looking at it. Now, that's it for the grain sec uh, section. Let's 
wrap things up here with Lean Hogs. Lean Hogs have had a heck of a run. The December contract uh, is a lagging market, uh, unfortunately, but some of the deferreds are performing very well. February, April, etc. February, we got the breakout move uh, above the 100-day moving average today, which brings us a little bit closer towards this gap from October 11th near 83 and a half to 84. That's going to be a big resistance pocket. If we can chew through there, wouldn't be surprised to see a retest of these highs from the very beginning of October, 87 and a quarter, top end of the range here in July, uh, about 87.75. So still pretty constructive on lean hogs. We've had a pretty good run here over the last week, though, and we're up against resistance. So I wouldn't mind to see the market consolidate. A lot of times people get caught up in thinking the market's just going to go one direction, straight up or straight down. For this to be a healthy market, we really want to see a little bit more of a stair step higher, not just a moonshot higher, because we know that those generally aren't sustainable. So we remain upbeat on lean hogs, but really welcome uh, a little bit of a healthy correction here back to the 100-day moving average throughout the rest of the week. So that's what we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at, too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the Chicago Board of Trade. Remember, trading futures and options involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors.